Hey there, it's Joe. So today I'm making these steel wheels right here. Get a close-up action on that part. I think this is a pretty cool looking part myself. It's got face groove on both sides and this OD groove. It's got these radial holes right here. They give it some spoke action, make it look pretty cool. Now I know this looks like it should be a turned part and then milled to put the holes in, but uh, rather than do two operations on the lathe, the front and back side, and then an operation on the mill to cut the holes. I'm gonna mill it complete in one cycle and be done with it. So let's take a look. Now starting out, we load the raw material in the six inch Kurt vise, and then we flip it over and put it in the four inch vise to do the second side. And as you can see, we start out by face milling both sides of the part. And then it's going to change tools to a half inch end mill to rough and finish the OD. Now normally when I'm cutting parts I'll use flood coolant, but since I want you to see what's going on I'm going to try to limit my use of coolant. Then it's going to change to a half inch end mill with a corner radius on it to rough and finish the face screws and the tool is going to helix in rather than plunge to make it easier on the tool. And now it's spot drilling the holes and the spot drill is going to go deep enough to leave a chamfer after the drilling is done. Now it's drilling the holes. Now that the drilling is done, it uh, changes tools to a chamfer mill, and it's gonna go around the part and chamfer all the edges. Now this is the last thing it does. It grabs a slot cutter, and it's gonna go down there and mill the OD groove. It's gonna do two rough passes, stepping in, and then two finish passes to finish the width. And then there you have it, the part is done. All right, I finished parts up and got them deburred. Now I'm gonna get them packaged and off to the customer.